Hello, welcome back to the garden. You know, a lot of people are saying to me, if I haven't started growing my own in early June, is it too late to start? And the answer to that is definitely no. You could get out this weekend, put a raised bed in, fill a container and plant some seeds and you will definitely have a harvest this year. I've got a couple of raised beds in the garden which are dedicated to veg. This is the smaller of them. It's four foot by four foot and I've actually run out of space. So I'm gonna put an extension of the same size, four foot by four foot, on to this one today. It's just gonna come up to this first board level, but that should be absolutely ample for what I need it for. Now I could just put cardboard down on the lawn and then fill the raised bed in with compost and topsoil and manure and then start planting in that straight away. That would be absolutely fine and the easiest way to start. And it would be perfect for growing things like salad and spring onions in this summer. I have a notion what I grow in here this year might prefer a bit of a, a deeper root run. I'm thinking of putting my French beans in here. For that reason, I am going to do the harder work of taking this turf off, turning it over, constructing the bed, and then filling it in with soil. It shouldn't be too much work because it's still quite a small area, but just because of the plants I'm putting in, I am going to dig it over. So here goes. So first things first then, construct the bed. I only need three sides of it because I'm putting it against an existing raised bed. I'm just putting the screw straight into the corner pieces. This is a kit which came cut to size already, so it's dead easy. Once it's put together, I use it to mark out the lawn, take it away and then cut strips in the turf and just use the spade very shallowly in and out to try and remove that top turf and roll it away a bit like a carpet. Once that's done, then you can use your fork to get into that soil and turn it over. You don't need to create a fine tilth. It doesn't need to be lovely looking in the end. All I'm trying to do is make sure there's good drainage and that the roots can get down deeper if they need to. Then comes the fun part, filling it up. And for this four x four bed, I have used two 35 liter bags of topsoil, two 50 liter bags of farmyard manure and two 50 liter bags of peat free compost. And that's it, doing this took between an hour and an hour and a half. And here I have a raised bed that will hopefully last for years and allow me to grow lots of fresh veg. So why don't you have a go this weekend?